Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I'm here to talk about Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. So this is a fantasy book that I think would be very safe to say is like a cozy fantasy book, which has definitely been gaining in popularity in terms of genre lately. And I am definitely someone who is a fan as well. So in this story, you are following Emily Wilde. She is a Cambridge professor and researcher who specializes in studying fairies and at the beginning of the book she is traveling to this small town in order to study this very specific type of fairy and while she is like extremely good at her job like she knows a lot about fairies she is writing this encyclopedia and just knows a lot about the different species and the lore behind them and all of these different things she is not very good with people and so when she first arrives in this town she is like staying in someone's cabin and just having a hard time talking to the local people. She needs to talk to them in order to figure out information, but they're trying to be like hospitable and she's trying to like keep a very clear boundary of like, no, I'm not like friendly <laughs> with anyone. I'm just here to work and all these different things. But then one of her colleagues ends up coming into coming into town as well. His name is Wendell Brambleberry. And she is like not super happy with the fact that he's coming into town because he's kind of like the opposite of her where he's like very charming. He gets along with people very well and he tends to sort of get other people to do the work that he should be doing. But then like as she continues to research fairies and like exist in this town, some things start to happen in this town that require both her and Wendell to intervene. So like I said, this is a cozy fantasy book and it was a book that I saw a lot of people put on their favorite books of 2023 list. When I originally heard about it, I wasn't super like, yes, I absolutely need to read this book. But as like more and more people kept talking about it, I was like, oh, this actually might be up my alley and so I decided to get it from the library and yeah like when I read the first couple of pages I was like yeah this is very like cozy comforting vibes. The book is written in diary entries that Emily Wilde is you know writing about what is going on and stuff like that and so it's a very fun way to sort of see what is going on while Emily is in this town and it starts from like day one of her experience in this town to her very last day as in that town and just all of the different things that happen. All of this is told from Emily's point of view and I think that if you are someone who enjoys books told from the perspective of like an awkward main character who doesn't get along with people very well like think murder bot books there's a little bit of this in like legends and lattes and things like that and so just like watching a human figure out how to be human with other humans can sometimes be really fun. But like all of this is done in a very like good humored, like positive point of view. Like Emily Wilde is never like purposefully cruel. She just has a tendency to be very like single minded or like single focused on things and can sometimes forget that like she needs to also interact with other people and what's required when that happens. So like one of the examples is that like her hosts are trying to be hospitable to her and when she says that she is going to like pay for her meal they get really offended and like she doesn't quite understand what's going on and it takes her a while to figure out that like the reason why some of these people won't talk to her is because she's ignoring their kindness and like that kindness is required and so it's just like very sweet to see sort of how Emily evolves as a character. Wendell is a very <laughs> interesting character as well. There's some fun stuff that happens with him and some like interesting interesting character choices and plot developments that happen that when I first started the book I wouldn't have expected it to go this way but it makes complete sense now having read the entire book. I just overall thought it was a really sweet book. I read this while I was on vacation. It was very much like a perfect vacation read where it's just like not super plot dense. You know it's a cozy fantasy very low magic system sort of situation so like there's not a lot of learning that you really need to do in order to understand this book which you know personally while I'm on vacation I'm down for that. <laughs> I will say the one thing that like is very much a thing for me that I didn't enjoy but I feel like the vast majority of people enjoy it is that there's a romantic storyline in this book <laughs> and when I was reading this book and I, I came to the point where like they were actually making the 
romantic storyline text versus subtext, I was like, I don't need this. <laughs> like, I am someone who does not feel super compelled by romantic storylines very often unless I'm specifically reading a romantic book. For me personally, I have to say that downgraded the book a little bit. But again, I recognize the fact that like for the majority of people, I think that that's a positive thing to happen in a book. <laughs> so, you know, your mileage may vary, but for me personally, that is like the one thing that like kind of ding this book for me. But maybe that just makes me a little bit too close to Emily Wilde as a character, you know, <laughs> like just too single minded, too <laughs> singularly focused. And it's like, no, that other stuff is good as well. She says hilariously as a married woman. Um, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, overall, I like just really enjoyed my experience with this book. Is this like one of my all time favorite books? No, not necessarily. But I do think that this is a really well done, well written and sweet story. I think that like cozy books in general, like whether it's a cozy fantasy, cozy mystery, anything along those lines are actually like really difficult to pull off because there's a very fine line between being cozy and cheesy. And I think that a lot of books fall closer on the cheesy end of things whereas this feels more on the cozy end and it definitely feels like a hug of a book like if you are on vacation if you are feeling a little bit down if you are just wanting like a warm blanket and a mug of tea and something very like heartwarming to read then this is definitely a book worth picking up this is the first book in a series and while there are some like sort of overarching plot threads that are going to be going through all of the books, I do feel like this is still a satisfying read on its own. This is a book that feels very self-contained with enough threads that can continue on to the next book that will still make you want to pick up the second book, but it's also a book that having to wait for the second book isn't the worst thing in the world, if that makes sense. But yeah, I really enjoyed picking up this book. I definitely think it's worth checking out if you are someone who is into cozy fantasy novels. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts on Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Let me know down in the comments below if you read this book and what your thoughts were on it. Or if you have any questions, you're welcome to leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.